Hi, welcome back to the channel, FM Wolf here. So we're going with Messi at Dunfermline. Let's start off with um, just the start of the second season, just before the season starts. Let's see. Messi has done throughout the season. So they obviously got promoted. We can see that they came first in the championship, which is always good. Night. Let's go and see how Messi done. So we have Messi, 34 appearances, 15 goals, 14 assists, 11 player of the match with a 7.57 rating. Now that must be good for the squad. Let's see how if they've done any other transfers throughout the season and see how they've done. So last season, did they bring anyone else in? Doesn't look like they brought any major people in, but they had some quite big outgoings. Lewis McCann, he's quite important. So yeah, let's see what tactics they're playing. Playing with Messi on the wing, also getting good performances out from there, and going with a single striker with two holding midfielders. Okay, let's go and fast forward to the next season. And see where we're at then. So back now at the end of the season. And it looks like Dunfermline on a rock bottom of the Premiership. Yeah, with 7 wins, 13 draws, 18 losses and 34 points. With a minus 26 goal difference. Not so good, but Messi getting top of the average rating for the for the league. Let's see how he done in his second season. Thirty-eight appearances with only eleven goals and eight assists, seven player matches with a, still a seven point five zero rating, which is still really good. And I assume they were still playing the exact same formation. Yet they were with not too many new signings either. No major signings anyway. And no major outgoings either. Well let's fast forward to the third season. I only went three seasons ahead so we'll see how they done there. And see what Messi's been like for the three seasons in Scotland. If he's even still in Scotland. So let's go to Dunfermline first. Second in the championship. Have they been promoted though? I've just not fast forwarded far enough for the promotion playoffs. However, I do believe. Messi is actually at Chelsea now. So he went to Chelsea for 2.1 million at the start of the season. Was it the start of the season he went? Let's find out. Yeah, he went to Chelsea on 21st of the 6th, 2023. So he ended up in Chelsea. How did he do though? Twenty games with two goals, two assists, and a seven point one five rating. So we didn't actually play too much in the Premier League. Twenty games. But he played. He played eight international matches in the year. Four continent, two continental, four cup, nine league games, and four non-competitive games for Chelsea, with a total of twenty-two matches. 15 starts. Let's see what Chelsea, how, what Chelsea's lineup is. This, so, Lionel Messi's just been a sub mainly. Yeah, so 
got Christian Eriksen as well at Chelsea. So Chelsea seem like they must be it's quite near the top again. Man City winning the league with United and Chelsea behind them with Liverpool back and forth. Arsenal, Newcastle completing the top six with Blackburn, Fulham and Leeds being relegated. England still top of the competition reputation. And Messi on none of the player stats top three anyway that are shown there. So, I know it's a short video today, but there will be more coming up over the next week. I'm just going to try and get quite a few videos out. Quite similar to these, but some will be a bit longer, some will be around the same length of these. There will be different experiments, maybe a few challenges, and we'll see how it goes from there. So, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and please follow the channel and follow me on Twitter. Okay, right, thank you.